What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. This is a video I've wanted to do for a long time, so I'm glad I had some extra time over the weekend to put it together. This is Chantal, three months ago, trying to exercise before the Thailand trip. You see here, 377 pounds, hottest country on earth, in the gym, at their expat apartment. And this is when she was really starting to promote, hey, I'm trying to get healthy, I've got to walk on this trip. And of course, she used this to go hand in hand with a weigh-in. Now, this weigh-in here, obviously, as you can see, three months ago, she's citing, hey, I'm up from 168 kg in June. I'm now 171.3. And this was, of course, titled, It's Really Bad. Now, we move forward to last week, trying to reverse diabetes. We're 164.5. Now, this video here coincides with this walk that she took. Same exercise, same path, weigh in, exercise, showing that she's trying to get back on track. But the reality is, in this image here, she wants you to believe she's about eight pounds less than this image here. And a lot of people, quite frankly, just aren't buying into it. I'm actually taken back by how many times I look at these older videos, see how small she is in them, and only because I'm comparing to where she is now. Now, her most recent video, the tea talk, if you will, she's tried to falsify, in my opinion, a lot of engagement. Thanks, Angela. Thank you. Hi there. Not really responding to everyone, but just making sure she responds to get her comments up to try to get these videos pushed back into the good graces of YouTube where she can monetize this the most. But it's often with Chantal, that she has to be counterproductive to herself. So I offer that because obviously here, she's going in and answering a question which is labeled important on the opinions of recent conflict. And of course, Chantal has to choose a side here, even though we know these are just words. Just like her weigh-ins, just like her it's really bad, just like her trying to get back on track. She's not doing anything to walk away from the brands that actually don't side with her beliefs. In fact, she just bought a whole bunch of Cadbury because she wanted their chocolate, and they are on the opposite side of where she stands. From there, you do know, of course, she's going to respond to people talking less than glowingly about reaction channels. Kimberly here says, we're rude. We have nothing better to do with our lives. And Chantal says, you nailed it. Laugh out loud after liking the comment. But Chantal, the reality is, and as my thumbnail suggests, most of us just have a more realistic interpretation of what's going on than you do. And we all see the cycle, which we'll get into in a moment, of what you're going through. Because it's a very repetitious pattern of what you try to do to get views on your channel. Moving forward, I wanted to talk about a comment here that goes through a lot of the changes Chantal has had. This person says, hey, getting married, finding a new religion, being more mature, saying you're at peace, but still putting yourself in this position to not be healthy, to eat on camera, is very different. Talks about how, you know, if you've truly healed from your past trauma, your past mistakes, you know, you're not going to let your haters get in the way. I want the best for you. Chantel's response to this, right? It's a pretty well thought out comment. Chantel's response, thanks, but I have an eating disorder and it's not a character flaw or a sign of maturity. Chantel's so quick to dismiss everything back to all of the issues you have with her must boil down to they can't be mentioned because an eating disorder. Eating disorder has nothing to do, for the most part, with what this person is talking about, but rather a lot of the things Chantal was talking about in her video and how they don't align with what she's doing. To that point, you have a person here, again, very well thought out comment, someone that's been watching her for a long time, talks about living life without crutches. I talked about this in my video where we're just kind of seemingly taking one addiction and carrying it over to the next. She says, hey, I was uh, dealing with natter. I was dealing with pills. And now we just see her dealing with food in this confined area. This person says, listen, you've used all of these things. You know, today it's food. Your health is spiraling. How are you going to change your behavior? How about your cycles? See? see, this person even brings up the cycles. We know that you'll cave. How you will eventually cope. It sounds great when you say it, just as with your water fast, but how are you going to achieve this, right? It's very well thought out. Again, very well constructed comment. 29 people liked it. Chantel's response, I'm still figuring that out. Literally wrote more about reaction channels than she did this. And of course, there's just honesty about the past. You know, when you talk about someone here that says, hey, listen, I don't watch the new content. The mukbangs, the grocery hauls are not my thing. Chantel's response to this, well, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. And then the person goes on and says, listen, exactly, you're right. I don't have to watch it. But that makes me sad because I followed you for a long time. I've been a member. And now you don't really even engage with any of your long tenured beezers. You don't support anyone that supported you. 
That's so honest from a person. Even going back to this person here, again, same comment. Just have one question about your past. You talk about the outhouse where we know what you were going to do. Can you just admit it? Can you just be honest with us finally? And Chantel goes, no, no, no. You don't know what was going on there. That was just a dumb theory. I literally just had to go to the bathroom. I would just stop there and go to the bathroom all hours of the day and night as I was traveling up and down the road. This is a person that knows, person that's watched, and you see how Chantal pushes back. And then I wanted to bring up this as kind of a final comment, where they talk about how bad they feel about what Chantal goes through on and offline with people kind of bringing these things back up. And I think to that point, I understand, I can sympathize with that to a degree. But Chantal is also the one that re-engages a lot of this. You know, Chantal is the reason a lot of these things stay topical. Listen, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If Chantal went online today and said, I went out, I contacted a nutritionist at the advice of my doctor. I have a plan in place. I have goals that I have to hit. I'm going to share them with you. There's going to be victories. There's going to be failures, but I'm along for the ride. We're going to reclaim my life. If you want to watch, great. If you don't want to watch, I understand, but things have to change so that I can continue to be here to make content. Whether you like it or not, I need to be here physically to make content, and I'm not putting myself in the best position to do that. Here's what I'm going to do. You know, I've actually toyed with the idea of doing this, believe it or not. I've actually toyed with the idea of going, contacting a nutritionist, letting them know about all of the things Chantal likes, the foods, the gravies, the fries, all of the bad things, and say, listen, can you give me some healthy alternatives? Thought about looking at some videos, and I almost hate to say it this way, but we know they're available. Maybe some, some bed-bound yoga, right? Because I think that's where Chantel could at least start. I think, honestly, starting, bed-bound, doing exercises is her best option right now. Extremely low impact. That's why people constantly tell her, listen, don't go on these treadmills. Don't go for these beach walks. Don't overexert yourself. Because if you remember back when we were three months ago doing those workouts, what broke all that cycle. Well, I got you know hurt at the gym. I was lifting weights. Chantel, you don't need to lift weights right now. You've got enough weight on you, and I mean that respectfully, that every time you walk, you are lugging, from what we know, maybe two, three, four hundred pounds around. You don't need any more stress or strain on your joints. They've got enough on them already. You don't need to worry about building muscle. I'm certain you've got a lot of muscle under there right now. You just have to get to that. And the best way to get to that, everyone knows, is going to be low impact, safe, in many cases supervised exercises, things that you can do, right? Can you lay in bed, do some yoga? I believe so. You talk about being in your bed all other times with Sala, so why not do something that's going to be beneficial to you in those moments? Can you get on an elliptical? Can you better yet, and honestly what I would truly recommend, Go down, get in the pool, and do exercises in the pool or in the water where you're going to have absolutely no impact, for the most part, on your joints and your limbs. That is critical to your success. I've thought about doing it, but the two things that have stopped me are this. Number one, anytime I truly, or anyone in this community, truly tries to make a good faith effort to help you, it is always thrown back in our face. It is never met with positivity. It is always met with negativity, not just from some of the people in the community, right? But Chantal herself. And number two, you're not going to take advantage of it. No matter what's handed to you, and you've had opportunities in the past, you never seem to be the one that puts your foot down and say, okay, this is my golden opportunity, right? I'm going to make the best of this situation. I'm going to turn this into the best for me, and I'm going to make this the day that I reclaim my life and take everything back over. You have that opportunity in Kuwait. I want you, just set aside Chantal for a moment. I want you to think about your situation right now and ask yourself, if you were in a room, right? You had no way to get out of this room, right? You couldn't drive. You really didn't have any friends. All you had to do was focus on yourself, right? What would you do in one month? What changes would you make? Would they be eating? Would they be learning? Would it be another language? Would it be weight management? Would it be stress management? If you had nothing to worry about for one month, how much change could you make in your life? I guarantee you, there's somebody listening to this right now that says, man, if only I had that opportunity, what I could do with it, how I could reset my whole life, start over again, and make the rest of my life so much better with just that one month. And yet here Chantal is, a whole year into this. And what has she done? 
In my opinion, she's put herself in a worse situation from a health perspective, from a mental perspective. She still continues to go over the same things over and over. And even when her community reaches out to her and tries to help her and say, listen, I would gladly support you if you made this type of content. We don't want you to hurt yourself. We want you to get better. And oh, by the way, here's a list of things we want you to talk about. And you give them a one line response. It doesn't show that commitment, Chantel. And that commitment is because you are not honest with your viewers and you are not honest with yourself. If you look at this thumbnail, if you go back to the beginning and you look at the numbers on those scales versus the visuals that we see, there is something, right, that is not adding up. We all see it. You want those numbers to be correct, in my opinion. You want to look at the scale and say, yes, it's down 10, 5, 8, whatever the case may be. You want it to be lower, but you're putting way too much emphasis on on those numbers and not the visuals and not your health. I don't care what the scale says. You say all the time, oh, it doesn't matter. Fit in any size, healthy in any shape. What matters is, can you go right now and walk a half a mile and not be out of breath? That is what truly matters. And right now we both know, Chantel, you don't have that capacity by no one's fault but your own. You've got a whole community waiting, wanting to support you. You've got reaction channels that you could essentially shut up. What are we going to do? Sit there and talk about how much weight you lost in a week, how your walking went, how your diets went, the foods that you're eating right. You really want to shut people up? That would be the best way to do it. Be successful and you will shut people up. But Chantal, the reason you're not able to be as successful as you want to be is you can't let go of the past and you can't stop lashing out at the people that try to provide you criticism and try to provide you help. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. Also, for my members, I have a great video up right now if you want to go watch it. It truly is the first time I think I can ever remember playing out right now in real time. A girl world aspect playing out publicly in a completely different sector. Getting hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. Extremely interesting topic. If you want to go watch it, all you got to do is join. Love to have you. Appreciate you watching this. Top comments from the last video. I will be back as soon as I can with more content.